Hello, anybody. I'm Alpaca Patrol, and this is Binding Advisor Breath of the Lamb. Today, I have a very special episode. I'm here with my good friend Jake. Hello, everybody. Yeah, and uh, he's never seen this game played, I don't think, right? I watched a video or two. Ah, well. Uh, so today, I don't know. We we have a couple things to do, uh, but I think I think I'm feeling like an Isaac run. I think Isaac is gonna go down right now. I think it's gonna be great. Oh, Curse of the Labyrinth what, is gonna be fun. What's the difference between the guys? Uh, well, so like Isaac starts with uh, Isaac starts with the D6, that item you see in the in the top there, the the die. Ah, yes. Uh, and that allows you to uh, to re-roll items that you find, uh, which is actually really really good because it basically lets you tailor your builds to however you want them to uh, to be, which is which is pretty sweet. Uh, because generally this game you're kind of uh, limited to randomness, and uh, usually that's a bit of a, a bit of an issue because sometimes you can get some pretty shitty items. One of which, of course, being the poop, which is literal poop, and uh, that is uh, very much so a shitty item, I'd say. Hey, man, I think it's all about how you use it. It's true. It's not. Uh, it's definitely not the size. I mean, you know a lot about that. And, yeah. Uh, well, when it comes to my feces. <laughs> if I had a nickel. Oh, and I got it. That was stupid. You, you're so stupid. Yeah, I might be the stupidest ever. Actually, oh god. Uh, some it is harder heads. to. Oh shit, I am taking a lot of damage. I am, uh. I, by the way, I'm sitting kind of far away from my computer. Uh, so I've, I've never, I've never played like this. Oh, I'll go back to full health. Um. Excuses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is basically excuses, but, uh. Whatever! I'm just saying, shit ain't easy, son. It's looks pretty fucking easy. easy to me. Well, we're on the first floor. I mean, this is this is a pretty easy floor. It gets pretty intense later on. You'll see. Well, I mean, I guess if I do well enough. Uh, but what we really need right now is some keys. So if a key could drop, all right, a pill. Let's see what this does. Yo, eat some pills. Tell the pills. All right, whatever. I guess I wanted to go this way anyway. It's a pretty simple room. You know, it's pretty lucky that we actually got the basement XL and not the uh, the cellar XL. Because dealing with face spiders right now, oh man, that would be uh, be a lot of a lot of buttholes, be a lot of feces covered buttholes, and uh, you know, that's gross, it's man. It's no fun. I think so too. Why'd you say it, Jake? I don't know, man. I just sick of this sometimes. I know the feeling. Oh God, I often sicken myself. All right. Oh Jesus. Uh. These beardy flies should go down fairly certain. Oh, uh, beardy flies. Oh yes, yes. Uh, flies and then just flies with beards. Yep. yep. Old. To, it's an old distinguished fly. Right. Yes. And you're yeah. taking fly. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's the kind of fly that uh, has been around. It's been around quite a while. Um, he seemed pretty wise, honestly. He is. He was. Up he until was, you, until you, you, you sold his life for him. Yeah. Well, I did drown him in my tears. Uh, which, which you know, is an interesting way. That's uh, that's how I like to kill flies as well myself in uh, in real life. Generally, uh, because you know, like fly swatters, you know, it's just uh, so unmanly. But also, you know, it's drying pretty, them your tears. It's pretty uh, useful because you do cry a lot. That's true. I am an uh, I am an oft and uh, and frequent crier. All right, troll bomb. Fuck you, troll bomb. You can eat my balls. We still don't have a key. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a bomb, a bomb diggity, Where and I'm gonna. Where did you get a bomb from? You're just a baby. Uh, yes, I am a naked child running through uh, my mother's basement. How, how old is this baby supposed to be? I don't think it's really explicitly mentioned uh, in the lore of Isaac necessarily, but uh, very young, I would have to imagine. Well, when I first saw this, I thought he was just like a fetus. Even. Well, there are fetuses in the game. They're they're uh, they're later on. Um, in the uh, in the floor layouts and whatnot. Basically, the idea of the game, like all the enemies and stuff, supposedly, what I've heard is uh, they are supposed to be um, uh, they're supposed to be like your mother's uh, forgotten children. Oh, okay, we did get one final fucking key. 
Uh, yeah, they're supposed to be like your mother's forgotten children that she she stuck down in the basement that she didn't want anymore. And you're just killing all of them instead of grouping together and, and trying to, you know, oh. lobby one another? Yeah, basically. So this is uh, Broken Mirror or My Reflection. Fuck that shit, you're getting re-rolled. Razor, also not that good, so we're going to try to recharge our D6. Uh, so by the way, the first item that we got, My Reflection, what that would have done is it would have made our shots arc back towards us. Which, I don't know in what fucking situation that would ever be good. I mean, I guess if you had the Parasite, it wouldn't be so bad, but... Does it hurt you? Uh, no. No, it doesn't hurt you, but... Like, it just... It, it lowers your range greatly, and then it, uh... And then it just arcs back towards you, so you can, like, barely... Barely hit anything. These are like super retard babies. Like, are, are you... Like, why are you killing them, honestly? Like, uh, because they need to die. They are afraid of me. I mean, they don't try to fight me. Yeah, there's, you know? there's no... I mean, they're, I think they're called hives, and uh, and they just basically have a bunch of flies in their head. I guess you're, I guess you're putting them out of their misery, or yeah. I mean, uh, I'm I'm actually doing a service uh, to the world. Shit, I almost. Uh, I think it's pretty impressive to do like jumping jacks like that without a head. Honestly, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that's that, that skilled is, athletes. That's that's true. That is very true. You make a good point. I. Uh, I never really thought about it that way, but I suppose... I mean, really, you know you know what was one thing that I always thought about, like, even early video game characters? Like, not so there's much Isaac. There's not enough Isaac. gay porn in it? Yeah, there's not enough gay porn, and it's just like, why do they not have all the gay porn that everyone could possibly want? You know what? I am going to drop a bomb here to get this key, because I think I value the key more than the bomb right now. Uh, no, but the thing that I was going to mention was, uh, like, Mario. If you look at Mario, if you think about the lore of Mario... Mario is a giant douchebag. Like, literally, the Koopas, the turtles and whatnot, uh, speed up boners. We are not getting good items. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, in the original Mario game, no enemies even try to hurt you. They're, they're, they're just walking back and forth, like the Goombas are walking back and forth, chilling, and like the Koopas are just like turtles, they're just like chilling with their friends. And Mario just comes through while they're just like hanging out, and he just murders everyone. Well, honestly, you're no better right now. That's true, I guess. You're no but... better than Mario. <laughs> uh, uh, and also, oh shit! That uh, just looks like a blackface. Uh, that's the joke, yeah. The, the racist joke. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, this was out of uh, Stephen is out of Edmund McMillan's first game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which I probably am mistaken, so... Shit. Took damage. Oh, God! Why, why, so this is the character's name is Steven? Yeah, yeah. How do you know that? Did you say Steven somewhere, or...? Yeah, I mean, I didn't, uh, I didn't watch the opening little cutscene thing, but it does tell you the names of all the bosses and stuff, and this is, uh... This is Steven. Oh, God. So how much do you really play this game? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. I have to say. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, now we're gonna get, hopefully, hopefully we get Steven, because I prefer that over Little <laughs> Steven, uh, off of this boss. But, you know, Little Steven wouldn't be so bad either, really. Yeah, little Steven's got some spunk. He really does have some spunk. Okay, yeah, we got, uh, we got Steven, that's good. I prefer that. I am gonna go back and re-roll one of those treasure rooms, I suppose... I don't know. I guess, you know what? I guess I'll reroll the Razor because I don't want that. What the Razor does is, uh, it's a spacebar item, and if you hold on to it and you, and you press it, uh, it does one heart of damage to you, but it gives you extra damage. Um, which is good, but I don't know. I, I don't like the hurt yourself to get stronger items too much. Hey man, sometimes you gotta, I don't know, it's some phrase. Uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta some phrase, man. Well, I, I just want you to know this. I don't know if you've noticed... Um, but ah. you do have a little head growing out of your head. I did notice that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know... That's actually part of the thing that's really great about Isaac, is every item that you pick up uh, alters your character in some way. Well, you should really get that checked out, because... Yeah, that does seem pretty, uh... Because, you know, you could be mistaken for one of the creatures in this maze, and some asshole like you could kill you. That's a good point, yeah, no. I mean, but the thing is, though, the head doesn't seem to be enjoying himself. I mean, look at him. He's, 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 pretty, he's pretty happy. He's, he's smiling, but I mean, it's probably because he's, he's not himself. very bright. He's got a very small mini brain made out of bits of your brain, I'm assuming. That's a good point, yeah. I mean, uh, I suppose I suppose maybe I should uh, put him out of misery. By the way, uh, just to mention to anybody who's going to comment on this, I know that there's a blue rock there, but I don't have any bombs, so there's nothing I can do about it. 
Um, so we honestly, so far on the floor, have not gotten very good items, I'm gonna be honest. We picked up a speed up, and that's alright, but we had to re-roll that one item like three times. And in the end, it gave us Monster Manuel, and uh, Monster Manuel is not a bad item, but, you know, when you have the D6, you don't really want to drop it. So what is a head doing there for you? Uh, extra damage. That Steven upgrade just basically just gave us extra damage. That's the only thing that it did. And, and where's this wooden spoon? Why aren't you using it? Oh, I am. Well, the wooden spoon is just uh, extra uh, speed. You get the joke? Why it's extra speed? Because you smack people in the ass with wooden spoons? Well, it's because, like, the mother... You run away from your mother trying to hit you with a wooden spoon. Oh, yes, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's what I said, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, some more those, hives. those are pretty pretty. Yeah, they they are attractive creatures. They are attractive creatures. Very articulate, by the way. I was gonna say. Uh, it's pretty impressive that these flies can shoot. Uh, what are they shooting at you, Robert? You know, honestly, it's never really uh, never really explained. To be truthful. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what they're shooting. I mean, I guess it could be equivalent to tears or blood or something. Blood I don't know. Tears. Could be blood tears, yeah. I mean, once you get uh, once you get strong enough in the game, have like enough damage ups, your tears turn red because you're bleeding from the eyes. Well, sometimes there's nothing left to cry. That's a good point. Uh, telepills. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's do it. All right. I guess we're gonna fight the boss. Uh, shit. Uh, this this actually could be pretty dangerous to be honest with you. How many how many uh, health do you get? Well, you get oh shit, God damn it! You get health ups uh, pretty much from bosses when you beat them, certain bosses, uh, and you get uh, them randomly as well. But the uh, you know it's not really a set thing. Different characters start with different uh, amount of health. Isaac starts with three hearts, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but a lot of the other characters, one of which in particular named Samson, is a piece of shit because he starts with one heart and he sucks. His item, his item blows. So, Samson. Yeah, but we got the cube of meat, which I'm not a fan of because, like Jake was uh, mentioning, a health up would have been very nice. But I cannot receive a health up from pestilence. Because uh, he's all pestilizing. Yeah, he's just he's just pestilizing all day, and then you know, he's, oh god, I almost hurt myself there. Mm, almost did it again because I'm dumb. Uh, I have to agree with you there. Wow, we actually have a lot of money. We have 24 cents, but we have been key poor this entire time. So, what would you do with this money? Well, that's funny that you should ask. Uh, on every floor, there is a shop, and uh, in said shop, there are items, uh, damn it, some of which, uh, give you some pretty good upgrades. Well, speaking of upgrades, yeah. do you have only your tears to, to protect you in this, in this gauntlet that is your basement? Well, you have, uh, you have your bombs as well, uh, you can use those offensively, although I haven't been because I really haven't had many bombs, and really it depends on the items that you get, so, uh, like the cube of meat around me right now, uh, he will block shots if I aim it with him, or, you know, just randomly, basically. Uh, I may have to play that slot machine, I'm, you know what, I am gonna play Judgment, I'll tell you that much, because, uh, Judgment, he often can give you keys, or just the compass, I mean, that's not really bad either. I would have preferred for him to give me a key, but hey, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Uh, this is a shitty room, because I'm just gonna take damage here. Wow! Actually, I got really lucky that the guy didn't activate. Now I'm... well, I'm done. Oh well! Uh, oh, and there's a library here too, but we don't have any fucking keys! Alright, I guess we can, uh... you know what we can do is we can bomb our way... If the secret room's here... no. No, Farts. you just your bomb. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play the slot machine. I apologize for having to gamble, because uh, we all know how bad I am uh, with the gambling addiction. However, I need keys, uh, because I, I don't really want to miss all of this shit on this floor. That'd be a shame. How much money do you have to pay this thing? Well, it's a slot machine, so really it's, uh, you know, it's a 
pretty low chance of getting anything, but I am gonna pay all my money into it. Oh god, there's a fly. You got a fly? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, slot machines get trapped full of flies. That would actually be pretty shitty if you were like at Atlantic City or something and uh, just a bunch of flies came out of the machine once you won your, your jackpot. That would. That would suck. I mean, it'd be better than bees. I suppose that's a good point. But you know, really, you can you can translate that message to all of life. Yes. At least it's better than bees. Actually, you know what? I am gonna say that from now on. Once things are uh, are going shitty, it's like, well, at least it's better than bees. At least I'm not currently being swarmed by bees. Yeah, it's a pretty important message for the kids. Uh, all right, we got another pill. Range up. All right, that's pretty sweet. I'm cool with range up. I want a fucking key. Just one key. Just, just, just one key. Just that's all I need. You're not supposed. Maybe you're not supposed to have a key. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it's not. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. I just fucked with you because I knew you'd get a key there. <laughs> you knew right then. Oh, okay. And it blows up on the last cent. That's cool. Uh, I am gonna use a bomb here because. Now, hear me out. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So. We can pick up this money in here, which is great. Uh, and I know a few of you are like, finally, finally he learns how to use his bombs. So I'm not going to waste my one key to go in here. The rosary. Ah, man. Why do you put the fires out? Because sometimes they drop things. The rosary, I think I'm going to re-roll it. Should I re-roll it? I have no fucking clue what that does. So, yes. No, no, you should get it. Right, you, don't, you, don't have a, you don't have a love got it. Oh, right. yeah, that is a good item. All right, so that just increased our fire rate. Look, we're shooting, like, super fast now. I, I, I understand what that is. Uh, this is you're shooting very fast. Very quick. Quick fast. Quick fast time. USA. And we're going to use our one key to go to the library. Well, we could use the Book of Sin once. Get a tarot card, which is the High Priestess. That's a pretty good card, actually. So whatever. I'll pick up this Book of Shadows so that we don't get it again. Uh, and move on to the next floor. So what do you do with these books? Well, uh, the different books do different things. So like uh, the Book of Shadows, that one white book that I had, uh, what, I, what that would have done is if I used it as a spacebar item, every time I press space, or like as long as it was charged up, you see how the D6 isn't charged right now? Um, as long as it was charged up, uh, it would give me a shield, which is pretty useful, um, certainly. But it's more useful, like, if you have a poison touch, then it's really useful, because you can just walk into enemies and poison them with the shield on and uh, murder everybody in the room, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. It turns out, also, whenever I get into fights, that is my same strategy. I just, I just rub poison all over my body. Uh, especially into my wounds, and then I and then I uh, well I'm completely naked also. That's a given, right? Right. Yeah. No. No. Totally. And uh, and and then I just I just go and, and bear hug the guy. Uh, it's really a good strategy if you ever are getting into a fight. Just get some poison. Better yet, hydrochloric acid because that burns. Uh, I mean, it burns you too. But I think the uh, how bad do you want to win? Exactly. If you want to win, you got to win. Right, exactly. So uh, you really you really do have to... I think the Cuban meat just saved my life there. We have another library, which is pretty sweet. I will go in there because, hey, you know, if we can get the uh, Book of Revelations, shit would be good. No, you're going to the library because reading is good, kids. That's true. You should all go to the library. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you. You should not go to the fucking library because that's a piece of shit. And it's old. Primary media... Is old school. Go to Wikipedia instead. Oh, fucking troll bomb! Alright, we're good. Thank goodness. Oh, and you know what? I actually should... I'm gonna go towards the treasure room because I do have my D6 charged. I didn't think about that. It's been a while since I played with the D6. You can forgive me. The library was the first place I saw pornography. Uh, was it really? I knew, I knew there was a bunch of, like, uh, troll kids. I mean, not, not really, they weren't trolls back then, I suppose, but, you know, that's what, uh, that's what it was doing. But, uh, yeah, there, there were a bunch of kids who would just go on porn websites and just leave that on the screen. What kind of library are you going to where there were trolls? 
Was under a bridge? Well, they, they I mean, yeah, in, in order to, to get books, you had to answer three riddles. And then if you didn't, the troll would eat you. And, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was not only a fun academic experience, but it was also... Ooh, a key! Ooh, this lesbian's making out on TV. Nice! I don't think the uh, viewers at home heard that, to be honest with you. There were lesbians making out. Nice. How do you know that they're lesbians? They could just be two good friends. Okay. <laughs> and by my specific erection, that uh, I have. There's only a certain kind of erection for uh, for lesbians. It goes about two degrees to the left for lesbians. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's make this motherfucker open up. Oh god, almost got hurt. Uh, well, you know what? A bomb for a nickel. Uh, sure do. <laughs> I was gonna say something much more vulgar, so I'm I'm glad uh, that you that you chose that path and not the dark side. Like myself, all right, this should be a pretty easy room. Uh, sadly, we're gonna have nowhere near enough rooms to recharge the D6. We just haven't really had a lot of luck with that. Already. Oh, sacrificial dagger is not that bad. You know what? I'm gonna go fight the boss because I want to consider whether or not I want to reroll the sacrificial dagger or the item that the boss gives me. Fistula. Let's high priest this bitch. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna do much. Whatever. No biggie. We'll uh we'll just murder these fish gelay. Fish oh, gelay. Like the hairiest woman, woman's leg. Yeah, that's uh well that's my mom's foot. Ah yes. Um Oh I'd recognize that anywhere. <laughs> because my mother steps on you. I don't understand the implication, to be honest with you. You know, I don't completely either. We have <laughs> this really weird thing worked out where Sounds like a I, weird foot fetish with my mom. <laughs> Alright, I probably won't do that. For the sake of my own mind. Hey, man. Alright, we got a health She's up. She's a woman. Good. She needs love, too. That's a good point. Uh, you know what? I am going to spend my reroll on this room because there's a one heart item, and if we can get something good for one heart. Uh, Sister Maggie's not really good for one heart. I mean, it is kinda, but not really. Uh, so, I am going to pick up a sacrific Sacrificial Dagger. We just haven't really gotten very lucky with the rerolls, to be honest with you. Uh, which kind of sucks. But we have enough bombs that we could, I guess, look for the secret room. Hey, no, who knows? Uh, you know, maybe... Uh, nope. Just kidding. It's not going to be anything good. Is that guy just... It's the Forever Alone guy. I, I, I figured. Yeah, yeah. He's very sad. I mean, he'd just chill in the secret room where no one... Really. I mean, he can't really be as sad as you, because he's not so sad that he, he has to just use his tears to hurt everybody. That's a good point. You know, I never really thought about it that way. That's how sad Isaac is, is that he has to use his tears. His pain must be inflicted upon others. It's deep, Jake. It's very selfish, honestly. That's deep. Well, you know, that's why I'm here, to bring a new perspective. Right, yeah, yeah. We do need that profundity, because uh, this cast profundity. has... Profundity? Yes. It, is, uh, it has been lacking in its profundity. Um, I just like saying that word because it sounds funny, mostly. Is that a real word? Yeah, it's, it means uh, profound. Like it's as if you would. I feel like that sound. I feel like that's like you know, like some kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? Horish. Yeah, I guess so. Horish in nature. I wasn't talking about your mother. Actually. Ah, right. Oops, I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's really much else that we could do on this floor. I would like another key so that we could go to the shop, but that shit ain't happening. Uh, and there's no way that I could bomb my way into the shop, because, uh, there's no way that there can be a thing that I want to do with the thing. You know. You get me. Did you just take a nap? What was that? Uh, no, that, that's, that's what they show you in between floors. They're actually, they're actually really, really funny cutscenes. Thank you for farting in my face. This is very nice of you. Um, that's what friends do. That's what friends do. Is it? Yeah. I feel friends. like that's the opposite of what friends do. I wouldn't fart in a stranger's face. That's a good point, I suppose. I trust you to enjoy my... Oh, that's good. Oh, god damn it. Still got hurt. Uh, wait, are we just watching lesbian movie? We're oh, watching. Oh, man. I just keep coming back. Oh, man. <laughs> we were just watching American Psycho. Have you guys ever seen that movie? Because you should. It's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. No, you should read the book. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm going to tell you oh, that right now. Oh, they're making out again. What is this movie? 
Oh god! Um, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like a pretty good movie, really. Any movie in which women are making out uh, on a semi-consistent basis sounds pretty they good. Don't have headphones on. Uh, that's odd. Is it like some David Cronenberg technology fetish movie? No, I think there's a robot. All right. This still doesn't sound like I'm wrong. How oh, farts! God, I am close to death, and I don't want to be. Yeah, you suck at this game, dude. I do, I do. Ah, uh, Shiza Minnelli, that is not what I wanted to see. All right, let's <laughs> uh, let's let's try to go towards the treasure room because obviously this isn't the right path, um, and hopefully we don't die. I'm gonna try my best. This could be our death here. This is this is a reasonably dickish room. All right, we got enough keys now. Oh, farts. This could be the end. I'm gonna try to make it not the end, but I'm not promising anything. Okay, let's murder this fella. Oh, God! Alright, we're good. God damn, long neck bastards! Where is long neck from? Is that like. I feel like that was in uh, a land before time. His name was, uh. It was Littlefoot. Well, Littlefoot, yeah. They called themselves long necks, I believe. Or no, they, it was something. Like, I, th I thought, like, the, uh... Are you fucking kidding me? That rock didn't... Oh, titties. Alright, let's, uh... This could be a bad room. This could be a bad room. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nope! Almost got hit there. Oh, almost really, got hit there again. You believing in yourself. That's a good point. Uh, I really should try to believe in myself more frequently. Did you hit them in the brains? Yep. You are, you are a clever man for figuring that out work. You know what? They did call me Mr. Smart Guy in high school. They, you know, I remember that nickname. Yeah, it was uh, Mr. Smart Guy, yeah. Was, uh, they had that in the yearbook, too, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got the award guy. for uh, Smartest Guy. Wow, yeah. That is pretty impressive. Oh, okay, that's that's actually saving grace right there. I think. Fuck you, Demon Judgment. I don't like that guy. Uh, and yeah, you know what? I'm going to use a key to do that. He's kind of a douche. He's kind of a doucher. Uh, Mr. Mega. Well, firstly, before I do that, I am gonna walk into the shop. Is it greed? God damn it, it's super greed! Fuck, this could be the end here. I don't want it to be the end, but it, you know what? I'm gonna use the Empress. Uh, I think, I think that's a valuable choice here. Because this could be my death if I don't, if I'm not careful here. Oh, shit! I almost got him, man. Yeah, but then you gotta deal with these greed heads. Yeah, I guess I guess it we're seems fine. Seems relatively easy, Robert. You should play around. Do you know what? We may record a second video here in a second where Jake plays for the first time. I think that would be pretty interesting. Yeah, sure. Game kid. You know what? That's not a bad item. Um, you know what I can do is I will pick up this. Mm, all right, fine. I'm not gonna pick up the game kid then. Ooh, all right, cool. game. That's cool. Why don't you pick up the game, kid? Uh... Because you're a jerk. That's why. Some more fish delay to murder. No, yeah, I think I think you should play around to this because, uh... Because while it may look easy, not to toot my own horn, but I'm not terrible at the game. Well, I'm pretty terrible at the game, but you I'm not... me. I'm not, uh... I'm not... I'm not pro. I'm not 360 MLG no scope, you know, but I am uh, decent enough, or at least better than I was when I first started. And that's where you would be, and it would be really funny to watch. Oh god, I have an itch on my nose. Wait a second. Please scratch my nose. Please do it. You're here. This why, is what you're why, here for. Why would oh I scratch god. your nose? Thank you. When I could just laugh I'm at gonna you. I'm going to do it myself, you bastard. I thought that this is the only reason that I had you here is because every time I played The Binding of Isaac, I, uh, I have an itch on my nose for some reason. And uh, it's the only reason that I brought you along, really. I just needed someone to scratch my nose when I... Farts! That's not what you said when you were crying last night. That's true. I was just like, Jake, please be out of the video. I need you here with me that night. Okay. Wow, that's Fuck. actually a really good impression of you. Yeah, it, it, does, it does pretty much sound... Almost exactly like me. Oh god, my head's starting to hurt. By the way, I don't know if anybody can tell, but I'm fairly hungover right now. 
uh, from a lot, of, a lot of drinking of the alcohol. Uh, and I have a headache now. It's setting in finally, after a while. See, I don't have a headache. Because I'm a man. Well, you don't get hangovers, right? Oh, I, I, I get hangovers. <laughs> well, I mean, the worst hangovers are the just the still drunks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those are pretty bad. However, I don't know. All right, we have to beat this boss without taking. Oh, you know what? I need to find out what's still Do it. Do it up. Now this boss should be fairly simple. Fem fatale. Oh shit! How did I take damage there? Oh god. I am screwing the pooch here, fellas and ladies. I may die here. I may die here. And if I shit! Oh. I died. Alright, whatever. You know what? We're only at 30 minutes, so. I'm gonna restart. If this is a successful run, then uh, you know, maybe I guess this will be a long video or I'll cut off part of it. Dead bird! Ah! Ah! I don't know. I don't know. Should I take the dead bird? You know what? Every dead bird that I've come across and taken, I haven't regretted. Alright, that's enough for me. That is enough for me. Dead bird's a pretty good item, by the way, if you don't know. This is Eve's item. Uh, and what, e what what it does is basically, when we get hit... Oh, you know what? That's worth it. Um, yeah, basically when we get hit... Yeah, and that's what I was hoping! Secret room's right there. Oh my god! Oh god! Epic fetus. Best item in the game. I think we just won. I think we may have just won the game right now. You're welcome. I gave that to you. Yeah, it was all you. It was all you. Uh, that is pretty awesome. That is good to see. I I was I was actually shocked that things worked out as well as they did there. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's take the take the health up. I didn't even need to use the D6. Fuck it. What's the point? This is probably the best item in the game. Oh God, no! All right. Fuck you, red fire. See the red fires, they shoot at you. Which, uh, completely threw me off the first time I played this game. Alright, we got Blue Larry Jr., who is dead. And he drops a blue heart. Oh, I should have rerolled that. Whatever. We got a range up, uh, that is literally useless. Like, completely useless. There's no reason to get that. Uh, with, uh, Epic Fetus. Because your range is pretty much as far as you can, uh, move that little crosshair thingamabobber. Oh, and a bunch of free money. I will take all of that. Thank you. So, is this game even fun now that you have this, this tool? Uh, it's even more fun. Did you see how I was struggling to murder things uh, in that last run that we had? Yeah, well, it seems like you had somewhat of a challenge there. Here, it's kind of just one bomb kill for all the bosses. And well, this does... Well, I mean, we are also on the fir early floors, but it is still one one missile kill for, like, almost every enemy. However, um... Yes, uh, this, does, this, does, this does kind of break the game, uh, this item. Uh, but, you know, honestly, you're gonna get a lot of runs in this game where you do the opposite of breaking the game. You get, uh, you get really, really shitty items, and uh, it just feels good. Look at my mom's bra, right there. My mom's bra. Do I want my mom's bra? Maybe, but I'll re-roll it. Yeah, you know what? I'll take Poison Touch. That's not so bad. If we get hit, we're gonna do damage to enemies. That's gonna be pretty good. Um, You're probably gonna explode them first. Shit. I probably don't want to use that key there. Yo, you yeah. won't. Uh, you won't. I probably won't. You're right. Teleport. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll use it once. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, no such luck. We are gonna go back and get our, our D6 because, you know, why not? And I don't think we actually have to fight that room, which is pretty nice. And then, should I use the key? Should I should I roll the dice here and use the key on that golden chest? I told you to, but you know, now, I don't think you should. Alright, I ain't gonna do it. Red to keep the key anyway, so... Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is... Oh, it's still gonna activate. Why that. do you call it D6? Do you think it sounds cool? No, that's the name of the item. It said dice. Yeah, it when you when you start the game as Isaac, it says D6. So that's what I'm going on. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, retarded pills. Good, good times. Let us move on. Oh well, you know what? I guess I should be looking for the room of secrets. Uh, Can't you just use your bomb? 
Yeah. No, but I, I, I did it there because there was uh, a chest. I mean, there was not a chest. There was, like, rocks. Yeah, Liberty Cap is a pretty good item. I'll, I'll take that. I don't mind that shit so much. Uh, and we have to find the regular secret room, which I guess is not down. It could be up here, I guess. I could have been off-center. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, it's right there. Fantastic. Some money. Oh, well, yeah, I actually didn't even realize this. We can go to the shop! So let's go see what's popping in the shopping. It's called a shop, Robert, not a shopping. I think it is a shopping, and I think you are a dirty, filthy, goddamn liar. And viewers... Oh, god damn it! I walked into the fire. See? This is what I get. This is what I get for even, you know, speaking to you. That's what happens. Alright, let's take some pills. Pretty fly. Okay, that's a pretty good pill. Um, balls of steel. Also, equivalently, pretty good pill. Luck up. Pretty darn awesome. Health up. Wow, that was a fucking great... That was a great room. You're a drug addict. I am a, I'm, I am a popper of pills, I will tell you that right now. Uh, and I guess I'll just move on. I could spend my money on this fortune teller, but I don't really care to so much, to be honest with you. Uh, actually, the Empress is a worthless card, so I am going to go ahead and get that. The Hermit. Alright, you know what? That's not so bad. Because as soon as we go down to the next floor, we can pop the Hermit, go to the shop, and uh, you know, not have to deal with anything, which is pretty nice. At least for the beginning. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the shop is right there. Habit! Yes! I will take that item. That item is a pretty darn good item. Now we were wearing a nun's habit. It's pretty sweet. Is that what it's called? A, a habit? It is, yeah. That's that's the name of it. A habit. You know, I own one and I don't know that. Do you... Why do you own a habit? You don't remember? Uh, I was a uh, chainsaw nun for... for a ah, hour. right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You, you, by the way... You probably should have done something different about the chainsaw to your arm. You know, it was kind of... I wanted duct tape, but all I got was clear tape. Well, and not only just that, it, it seemed very painful. Oh, yeah, You made it yeah, extremely it, tight. Yeah, well, you know, it's got to stay. A chainsaw hand's got to be authentic. Right, true, yeah. Well, then you should have just stapled it to your hand. There was a couple nails. <laughs> a screw, one screw. Well, that's good then. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll fight this boss. Whatever, whatever. We're here, man. Uh, yeah, and I actually I have the D6 charge, so you know what? Whatever. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Okay. Well, let's just murder Gertie. Actually, Gertie might be a little bit annoying to fight with Epic Fetus. Really, it looks like you got him down to almost nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, a little bit annoying with Epic Fetus is really just kind of a joke. Uh, yes! We got an angel room! Uh, let's go in there. See what we got. Prayer card. Okay, the prayer card is very good, but should I pick it up? I don't know. Well, I'm you know, thinking about re-rolling it. Well, I have no clue what it does or anything, mm. but, uh, I'm my prayers up. have never worked for me. Oh my god, I just realized, yes, I'm picking this shit up. What am I thinking? Why would I not pick it up? Because you know what? If we get hit one time... Boom! Health up right now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I said boom as an exclamation, by the way. Still. We're no longer friends. <laughs> hey, I'm not the guy who was saying dog all the time. Hey, man. I just envision it with a D-A-W-G. That I makes it cool. much worse. Makes it a lot better. I don't think you know anything about dogs, dog. <laughs> Your dogs are cool, man. Dogs are cool creatures. Dogs with a D-A-W-G so that you sound like Randy Jackson. Those are not cool. Randy Jackson is hands down one of the coolest people I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd like to say I've met him, but... That I would be pretty impressive if you had met Randy Jackson. Balls of Steel! Great item. Don't you already have that, like, twice? Uh, no. I didn't pick it up yet. I mean, I picked up one of them once, at one point. But, uh, you probably just picked one up. Well, they're not always random, the, uh... The whatchamacallit. Oh, we have the super secret room here. Red chest, what do we got? Troll bomb, alright. Fuck you, troll bomb! Let's go to the treasure room. X-ray specs? Whatever, I guess. That's cool. Oh, we have enough for a health up. That's cool. And you know what? I am going to damage myself twice. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. And then hit me again, if you would. Thank you. I'll take a health up. And then we shall move on to the next floor. Getting cocky, Robbie. 
I, you know, it's actually, it's not actually even cockiness right now. It is... Vagininess? Yeah, it's vagininess, uh, which is a, a pretty impressive feat, I want to say, you know, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. No, uh, it's actually good strategy, because what the prayer card does is, by the way, in case you didn't notice, if you get an eternal heart, which is what I have now, the white heart, uh, by the way, did anybody notice it was red, white, and blue? Nah, nah, you didn't. We got another range up. That's fucking useless! Uh, but so what the prayer heart does is, if you get one of the eternal hearts, then as you go into the next floor, you'll get a health up. Or, if you get it twice, you'll, uh, you'll get a, you'll get a, uh, health up. So if you get two half of, uh, eternal hearts... Why are you an itty bitty baby now? Oh, you got, you got baby. Oh, god damn it. Well, you know what? Uh, no, I guess I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let myself... Oh, I don't have enough money? Damn it! Whatever. Not a big deal. You know what? I probably prefer the... Oh, farts. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do that. Let us drop a bomb here. Get to that pill. I think it's something good. Yeah, that is very good. That is what I would consider good. Blue pills are health ups. Must remember that. Oh god damn it! Yo, I'm hungry, dog. I'm pretty hungry too. I'm telling you, we should order something. This is a pretty I'm good uh, burger you, place. You should go outside. Where do you want to go? Get some fresh air. I don't know, man. This is your fucking hood. My feet hurt something awful. By the way, yesterday. Uh, we walked from my neighborhood, which is in which is in Queens. Flushing Queens. Flushing Queens, yes. Trying to get me murdered. Uh, yeah. But uh, no, yeah, my my neighborhood, and we walked to Manhattan, and that was a ten mile walk. Oh my God! Health up, yes, thank you. We, you know what? We're gonna probably have hearts off the screen. Uh, red hearts off the screen, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, did we go to the secret room? I don't know if we went to the secret room. Well, you found the super secret room, I believe. Yes, we did. Good, good knowing the nomenclature. Which is specifically mine, by the way. Now, nomenclature, you've lost me with that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, like naming conventions, basically. Nomenclature. Nomenclature, yes. Or, uh, or, uh, society of, of gnomes is the other, uh, term for it. No die. There we go. Fantastic! And we get a free bomb out of it! How useful are bombs? There's a lot of situations in which bombs help them. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Jake actually moonlights as a uh, as a terrorist. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta pay the bills. Right, yeah, you, know, you gotta do it somehow. And uh, sometimes, you know, terrorism... You know when they say, fuck. Uh, you know when they say fuck? They say it pretty frequently. I don't know, I mean... In the biz... We're terrorists, and we don't like throwing that around too much, you know? Like, I think of more just, like, a jester of buildings. That's a good way to look at it, yeah. Just an adjuster of buildings. That's all and lives, is. I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it as well. Uh, I am going to blow this up. I could have played it for a health up, but I mean, come on. Do we really, do we really need any more of that? At this point, I don't think we do. Yeah, let's get a heart. Go fight this boss, Chad. Ah, you know what? Actually, that's not gonna be so bad because uh, because of Chad. You have ridiculous amount of hearts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and crazy bombs. I mean, like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, pretty much. Uh, and we're gonna need a health up as we go to the next floor. Boom, boom. That just happened. Boom. We're on the depths one. Boom. I'm saying boom over and over again. Boom. Boom, dog. Boom. No dog. We will say no dog in this house. Uh, greed. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll fight him. I mean... Yeah, it was easy. Should we start calling each other cat? Uh, like, yes. Like, like, that would, that would actually... Hip. That would make me feel like uh, we're talking about... Uh... Like we were hookers. You know how them hookers love <laughs> their cats. <laughs> they, they do. <laughs> hookers do enjoy cats. They they need them for sustenance. Yeah, I, like I Alf. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to. Uh, they just like crack the neck and, and suck out the suck out the insides. 
Um, so by the way, we do want to get seven cents because I probably want to drop this prayer card. The reason that I want to drop the prayer card is because, uh, you can't get more than, uh, than full red hearts. Like, you can't get more than two full rolls of red hearts. So, one more use of the prayer card, and then it's basically useless to us. And the candle is a pretty good item, so, uh, I probably would like to pick that up. That would certainly be of use to us in, uh, you know, certain situations. And it's only seven cents because we picked up the steam sale from Greed, which is pretty nice. Motherfucker. So there's other characters in this game. Yes, there are. And who are they supposed to be in this world? Um, well, actually, the, the whole lore of the game isn't really well... It's not told, necessarily, but... What people have, you know, specialized. Right. Have, what they've specialized is that uh, is that they're all kind of just Isaac in different wigs. Ah. Yeah. He's more like an observation. Well, yeah. I mean, but it makes sense in the symbolism of the game as well. Uh, that wasn't on purpose, by the way. Uh, but I, I just it just happened. Uh, we could get this, these two free cents because we could just blow them up out of there. I almost hurt myself. Can you actually hurt yourself in this game? Oh yes. Yeah, you you can you can kill yourself with the epic fetus. And in fact, I think I did the first time I got it. Oh man, That's we are so just, terrible. We are, I'm doing a poor job at this. Well, it's kind of hard to aim with the with the arrows. There we go. Uh, and I know a lot of people are like, "Hey, you should aim with the mouse." What happens if I aim with the mouse with epic fetus? Is my game? Off. I can't jerk off because you need. You know my hand on the on the mouse, and and I like to do that while I play this game. It's a lot of fun. No, I I, I can't. Um, for one, my game generally lags when I use the mouse, and for two, I actually don't find it that much easier. I kind of I kind of like this better. I kind of like using the arrow keys better. It's kind of really more a matter of preference. I haven't been using the prayer card, have I? Whatever. Do we really need more health? Do we really need more health? Oh come on. The one guy got me. Nonsense! This is gonna be a bad pill. Yep, bad trip. That's pretty bad. The balls of steel, it's a pretty good pill. Actually, you know what? It wasn't so bad because we got shit out of it. We got, uh, you know, habit, whatnot. Habit, who's a what's it? Now, the habit is not gonna be particularly effective with, uh, with the candle, if, of course, I can receive the candle, which I would love to. Uh, but, whatever, you know. We, we basically, we use the habit to, uh, to get all these hearts, so, you know, I, I don't really mind so much. But we do have hearts off the screen now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, come on. Nonsense. Nonsense, I say. Now, the thing is, what I've heard, at least, is, um, even though we can't have more than this many red hearts, uh, we can keep using the prayer card. And though they don't actually count as hearts that we can get hit by, they do count for, like, deal with the devil hearts. So, I suppose it's not a bad idea to just keep using it. Alright, health up. See, so, we can actually spend that heart, but that doesn't actually work as a, uh, you know, thingamabobber. Uh, looks like we are not gonna get enough money to, uh, we could get enough money if we go, alright, you know what? I'm gonna do it, because it would be on the way anyway, so... We'll, uh... Oh, shit. Abba Jangus, Abba Jangus. Abba Jangus, Abba Jangus, you're right. I should have thought about that before I said those words. I apologize. I hope you can forgive me. You know, maybe one day I'll find it in my heart, but not anytime soon. I understand. Alright, now we're gonna have enough money for the candle, which is sweet. Uh, except we have to fight these enemies, which kind of sucks. Because the floating fetuses, not my favorite foe. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, we killed one, that's good. At least they aren't the leaping quad shot jerks. Those are the worst kind of jerks. Alright, that was pretty easy. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something that I don't do ever. Kiss girls? I'm going to kiss some girls right now. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this a couple times because I have the... Alright, I only got a health up, I guess. Really? 
Yeah, alright, fuck this shit. This is exactly why I don't play it. That's exactly why I don't play it. I have enough hearts to play it like 30 million times, and I did. Didn't give me shit. So, fuck that. Hey man, you don't even know what's in that, that chest, bro. Probably something awful. Also, I don't have a key, so... Oh, god damn it! Alright. Get another prayer card. Who knows? Maybe we can uh, get. Wow, we were only on the depths one. I didn't even realize that. Oof, I th suck. thought we were on the depths two, actually. Uh, who we got? Loki? It's not gonna be so bad. Probably. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And we got a uh, deal with the devil. Although we have to use bombs to access him like a jerk. Uh, Primstone. That's not really worth it. Money equals power. Also, equivalently, not worth it. Because I'm pretty sure you don't get damage ups on your epic fetus. I could be wrong, and maybe I screwed the pooch there, but, um, you know, I, I think I think the pooch deserved it, to be honest with you. Hey, man, the way it was looking at you? Yeah, I mean, it, it just it, it needed to be done. It wasn't really even up to me. Um, Nature took over. Basically, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Let's blow this up, because fuck it, why not? That's... That is a good pill, but I don't remember what it is exactly, so... Well, also, by the way, speaking to your point of this game being very easy, I, uh... This is the first time that we've gotten one of the harder floors. We've actually been getting, like, the easier floors. What are those things? Uh, those are vagina monsters. I'll show you what they do. Here, I'll just make them... Yep. Opens up his vagina and shoots some period blood at us. Man, if I had a nickel... <laughs> Have you seen many vagina monsters in your day? In your heyday? I mean, I don't like to speak of it. Mm, damn it. You know, we could basically use the prayer card at this point as kind of a book of revelations because uh, we don't really fuck. We don't really need the health ups anymore, but you know, I guess we do need all the other stuff. So, I mean, the the extra damage from the actual faith hearts themselves, or the eternal hearts themselves, whatever they're called, whatever the actual name is. I don't think Edmund Peelin had a real name for all the stuff. I've been farting like the wind, like, this whole time. Does the wind fart regularly? Well, I was farting similar to the wind, like, at such a consistent rate that it would be comparative to wind. Ah, I see. That makes more sense then, yeah. Like, enough to, uh, enough of a gust to, to push a large sailboat. Really? That's pretty impressive, actually. You should go on Guinness, uh, the beer company, not the world records, because, you know, who needs that? I should go on Guinness. Yeah, yeah. The Guinness diet. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of the whiskey diet. Oh, the yeah. Just kids you know. By the way, if you've never seen whiskey diet, look that up. It is hilarious. Also, try it. It actually, you lose weight. You lose weight, you know, and um, it's impressive. You also die. But I mean, you know, who cares? We are exploring, of course, by the way, to find the treasure room and the shop. Uh, because, mm, why not? I mean, it's not like we need anything else, really. There's two secret rooms there, man. Yeah, I guess that's true. We, we gotta find the secret room as well. Uh, which is it's pretty not really cool. that secret, if you look at the map on the top. It's well, I mean, it shows me because I have x-ray specs, and that's what that does. But, uh, if I didn't have that, then it wouldn't show us that stuff. Oh, come on! I just, I just walked into the room! What am I... Yeah, well, I have more health than is on the screen. Well, now it is. That's actually, now that you say that, now we can finally see my health, and that actually scares me a little bit. But not really, so whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big issue. Compass, that's pretty good. Uh, and I'll pick up this this uh, this key too because you know I don't. <laughs> you don't know? I haven't heard. No, yeah, because uh, keys will be very valuable if we get down to the chest, which is going to be a tough time. I'll tell you that right now. It'll be rough, rough shot. Uh, by the way, do you know that phrase, rough shot? I've never heard that one. Oh, god damn it. I didn't even realize, because I'm dumb. Let's go in here. Skeleton key. Just when it's useless. Fantastic. Whatever. 
Uh, we'll, we'll just, uh, you know, I'm gonna blow up all the shit in here just in case it gives me, I don't know, money or something. Hearts. Uh, that's bad trip, I believe. Which is probably better than, yeah, actually, you know what, that is much better than the Empress because, again, I don't think damage works with Epic Fetus, so. I don't think I really have to worry about that. And let's go fight Mom. See what she has to say. We will uh, destroy our mother and then enter into her vagina to defeat her heart. The heart, Osborne. Yeah. First we attack the heart. Uh, the heart, Osborne. You just made it Batman. Yeah. Batman uh, told Osborne to uh, murder Spider-Man's heart. Yeah, uh, someone recently, last night at least, Actually, you know what? Uh, Red Mom is actually going to be kind of tough uh, with Epic Fetus. Yeah, but like, I don't see it doesn't drop in time. Shit. Yeah, Red Mom is actually going to be a bit of an issue. Okay. We hit her again. We hit her again. Just need the eyes. Oh, damn it. Okay, I gotta wait for the next one to come. Mm. Put it where you were. It was gonna be there we go. On you, you know? Yeah. Well, it's easier said than done. Whatever. Damn it. A lot of damage. Not that it's a huge deal, but, you know, whatever. We'll pick up Cat of Nine Tails, which is a shot speed up. Uh, that's not very good. But again, by the way, we have the bad trip pill, so, like, uh, basically, if we get down to low health, it's not going to be a big issue, because, um, I guess we got hit twice there. Sucks. Uh, three times. Three's the charm. Uh, yeah, no, so we have the bad trip pill, so if we run into danger, uh, that will turn into a, um, they'll turn into a full health pill, so that's not a big deal. Our health is not a huge you have deal. 99 keys? Yeah, yeah, I got the skeleton key in that last room. That's oh, what that yeah. does. I've actually never seen that elite version of my uh, doppelganger. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, man. I should write an essay on it. That's how interesting it was. Ooh! A key! I'll be sure to make good use of that game. Alright, let's go fight whoever this is. Likely. Uh, oh, actually, not. Never mind. Fuck me, I guess. Didn't you already kill your mom? Or you well, we murdered our mother, yes. But we are now inside of her womb, and we're attempting to murder her heart. That's our goal now. Oh, uh, I, I missed that. Part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't, we haven't gotten to the heart yet. That's on the next floor. And then, once we exit there, we're going to murder ourselves, because we're going to come at odds with ourselves, and then after that, we're going to get into the chest, which is Isaac's suicide fantasy, uh, and we're going to come to grips with, uh, with our suicidal thoughts by doing so. This Isn't may be the wrong way. Is he dead, though? Uh, no. He's not dead. His mother's trying to kill him. He's running away from his mother, trying to murder him. So he's he's very much alive, but everything in the basement is kind of undead, I suppose. Shit! Oh, I'm surprised I actually didn't take damage there. This is in the basement. This is inside her body. Yeah, yeah, we're in the womb now, but um, this is an unlockable floor. I mean, like you don't start with the womb. You do have to beat mom first in order to enter her womb. Like in the scope of the game, we could just use the. Uh... Oh, does the halo of flies not? Uh... Oh, whatever. Shit. Hey, you know what? I will just drop a bomb here because that's much easier than whatever I was trying to do. And we'll get some more health and fight Mom's Heart! I'm surprised they didn't actually add a um, an elite Mom's Heart, you know? That'd be interesting. I'd fight that. This is gonna be easy as hell, as it often is with Epic Fetus. Now, we haven't really been able to unlock anything, necessarily. Uh, on this run, which kind of sucks, but it does look like we're going to succeed, and you know what? We got Epic Fetus, so that's pretty good. Um, so I'm happy about that. 
Although, uh, you know, I guess I shouldn't talk so soon. There, there, you know, many things could happen. Uh, I could easily start Caesar. That's a good point. Yeah, I could have to take you to the hospital, and then uh, you know, we don't. We you know, honestly, I, I, I don't feel safe. I, I feel like you just continue playing until you beat us. Well, I mean, you know, the show must go on, really. So uh, I probably would, um, but. I mean, know that I love you, though, so... Well, I'll make sure to my seizing state, shit my pants, so I can play in discomfort. Well, that would, yeah, that, that, would, that would actually make up for it uh, pretty, pretty heavily. Pretty fly! That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Oh, God, my foot hurts. Okay, let's go see what's in the super secret room. Bunch of hearts, that's good. You know, just in case I take more damage on the way to the boss, we could always... Yeah, it's, it's pretty likely, actually, that I'm going to take damage here. Did I? I think I just did. If I'm not mistaken. Mm, okay. Actually surprised I didn't take damage there. There we go. Alright, yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. It's not like I give a shit anyway. You know? You know, bro? Are you a bonobo? It's a type of monkey. Did you know that? By the way, did you hear that they're making a new Bill and Ted's movie? No shit, really? Yep. Yep. With Keanu Reeves? Yep. No way. Yep. Bullshit. Man. I'm not kidding. They are really making it. They are straight I'll up making that I've movie. The link. There's a. I think there's a trailer. No, there might be. There might just. There might have just been confirmed. But yeah, no. It, it's 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 coming, man. And it is going to be. It's gonna be nothing ridiculous. without Rufus. Yeah. Yeah. It really isn't. That that'll be that'll be a sad. Sad time. Actually, I don't know how they're gonna deal with that. Like, what are they going to say happened to Rufus? He is kind of, you know... Those movies are pretty fucking silly, so I think they encompass them pretty uh, half-assed. But I mean, isn't... Yeah, that's true. But I mean, isn't he, uh... Isn't he supposed to be, like, all-knowing and all-immortal Time Lord kind of thing? Yeah. I guess so. I thought he was. Like, wasn't he... Wasn't he actually, like, an ancient Greek or something? Didn't they... That, wasn't that the, uh... Story of the movie? No, I mean, he's from the future. He's from the future. Yeah, he's like right, from right, the future okay. that Bill and Ted have made super awesome. Okay. Well, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. It's uh, a good one. Now, this, this boss fight seems very easy right now. I assure you, this is probably one of the hardest boss... Actually, by far the hardest boss fight in the game. Easily. Easily. It's mostly because of these angel fetuses. Uh, well, it was, and then they changed it. If you hold the Polaroid, you can enter into the chest, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. 99 keys, we can open up all these things. Wow, technology. Oh, God, I gotta hurt. I'm hurting my hand. Okay. Alright, Ghost Baby's pretty good. Technology is pretty aw oh, although, I hope it doesn't... Yeah, it just adds lasers. That is awesome. Spider butt! I guess I'll take spider butt, why not? Whatever. That acts as kind of like a mini Necronomicon and a slow. It's pretty pretty useless item, actually, to be honest with you. Definitely want to deal with death first, I think. Oh, let's spider butt him. Let's spider butt the hell out of him. Uh, maybe, you know, in retrospect, perhaps I shouldn't have dealt with death first, because now we have to, uh fuck with all this nonsense. Yeah, that's better but him again. See if I care, bro. I don't give a shit. And again, remember, our health not a big concern because uh, we have this full health bill. Shit. Alright, you have to really time it. Yeah, alright, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so our health isn't really a huge concern. Whatever, we'll take another eternal heart. We're getting pretty close! Hope we can seed. Alright, I guess we got... So this is the Gertie that only spawns things. That's not so bad. I mean, any really Gertie at this point is not so bad. To be truthful. Is there different difficulty settings? No. There is not. But we, I assure you, this game is not easy. We're gonna, we'll have a run, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a special run where, where Jake plays. And uh, and watch him uh, watch him fail miserably at this game. I've had enough of this already. You need uh, to try it to really feel 
as though you can do it. We got Splunker Hat and X-Ray Specs, meaning that uh, that's pretty much the most redundant shit ever. It's kind of like Specception. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to tank his stuff because I don't really need to do anything else. It's mad easy. Doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. We're going to win anyway. Because, I mean, once I get down to low health, what's going to happen? I'm just going to use that trip. And, uh... What does bad trip do? Well, bad trip generally hurts you. So if I used it right now, it would, like, do damage to me. However, if you're down to, like, one heart, it uh, heals you to full health. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a secret, I suppose, in the game. I mean, to a complete new. He would know that, I suppose. Alright, we're getting to territory of having to use this full health pill. Which I would rather not do. That would be pretty impressive if I just tanked Blue Baby altogether. Yep, indeed I did! And that is a success, and uh, we'll, we'll watch this uh, final cutscene. I'll shut up. <laughs> I like the dad. Yeah. Yeah. And this is an unskippable cutscene, actually. It's interesting. See, this kind of tells the story. He's sad because his parents love each other? No, uh, basically, kind of the story, one guy explained it is... Isaac somehow, like, he wanted his sister to die because she was getting too much attention, and then she did die somehow, and then her mother, his mother blamed, and then I guess the father left, and, uh, you know, his mother blamed him for his sister's death, and would dress him up in wigs, and then tried to murder him. And that's, that's the game. And you got that from those Polaroids. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there is a pretty complex thing that this guy did. It's pretty awesome. But, anyway, uh, that's the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I mean, it was a success. Success is always good. Hopefully you enjoyed my friend Jake. You probably hated him because I, I'm not a big fan, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Do you, you want to say something? You just, you just kind of hurt my feelings. That's true. That's true. Do you want to say goodbye to our audience? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All goodbye, right. everybody. All right. Well, uh, anyway, so hopefully you guys liked it. I probably will make a video. We're going to eat something first, but i uh, probably make a video of uh, Jake playing the game. Maybe like an Isaac, uh, Isaac, like teaching session or something and uh and yeah so so hopefully you enjoyed it this is alpaca patrol signing out peace fools